Hey Fluffies, welcome back to Pink Stylist Plays. Today, as you can guess, we're playing another short indie developed game that I got from the website Itch.io. Today's game is called There is a Man in the Attic. Yeah. <laughs> I was in two minds about whether or not I wanted to play this one because oh, I didn't randomly choose it. It was suggested to me in the comments on a few of my other videos. I mainly didn't want to play it because I'm the kind of person that if someone says, look behind you or what's that over there or, or there's a person under your bed, that kind of thing. I know it's not true, but I have to look. It drives me crazy. And the idea that a man hiding in the attic freaks me the fuck out. <laughs> but I'm going to do it. So let's go. A boop. When I was a kid, I often had the same nightmare. It was about this man just standing in my room looking at me. I was convinced that he came from the attic. I shared a bedroom with my brother at the time, and when I had this dream, I often spoke out loud during my sleep. According to my brother, I said things like, Somebody's here. There is a man here. He is here. Oh god, that would freak me out. Um, it freaked my brother out in the middle of the night a couple of times. I'm an adult now, and that horrible nightmare is just a distant memory now. Oh... Okie dokie. Oh! Find phone. I heard it. Well, I can't run, so that's good. <laughs> right? It blinged. I don't have any legs. I can't click anything, so I'm guessing it's not in there then. I take it we're not going to go to the attic then. Oh, it's very slow. I don't need to use the bathroom right now. Okay. Oh! It sounded like it was in the bedroom. Did I miss it? Do, do, do. This isn't the basement, is it? No, it's not. Fine. Oh, it's really pretty! Which means it's going to be horrible. Please jump, jump scare me. Hey, brother. I just wanted to let you know that I've arrived at home safely. Thank you for the invitation. We had a great time and it was nice to catch up. I also feel like I have to apologise for Lily's behaviour, but you know how kids are and their imagination. She was... Oh, no. She was probably very tired as well. See you later. Take care. Oh, God. I think she said something like there was someone in the attic. I saw someone. Ugh. It's getting late, but I should clean up first. I mean, I'm the kind of person that says that when guests come over, but it's pretty damn tidy. Look at it. Clean up the table. Oh, the plate's there. Okay. Nice and slow. Slow and steady wins the race. I mean, really, we should turn the lights on, but okay. Clean table, yes, please. Oh! Today my brother came to visit, and he brought his family along, his wife and their seven-year-old daughter. Her name is Lily, and technically she is my niece. Oh, that's a coincidence. My niece is called Lily too, yay. Um, it's been a while since I last seen them, so we spent about half an hour catching up with each other just talking. After a while, I noticed that Lily was really uninterested. I don't blame her. After all, adults talking about everyday stuff is probably the most boring thing for a child, and I am a pretty good uncle, so I offered to let her watch TV in the upstairs room, showed her all the cartoon channels, and let her watch some TV, away from the boring adults. She was grateful. Oh, what has she seen? Oh, it's the attic, isn't it? Not the basement, you know me. Oh, it's even worse. I was upstairs just now, then. Sod that. And do dishes. The night went on. It seemed like everyone had a good time. Dinner was ready, so I was about to go upstairs to get Lily to eat with us. And that's when all of a sudden Lily ran downstairs screaming. She looked absolutely horrified. Okay, the hairs on my arms are standing up. I don't... Oh, I'm not going to like this. Oh, God. She looked absolutely terrified. It took her a couple of minutes before she could speak, but then she finally said this. There was a man upstairs staring at me from the doorway. Oh, fuck off. Confused, perhaps a bit frightened, we all went upstairs, searched everything, checked the attic as well, only to find nothing. Eventually, my brother dismissed Lily's story, claiming she was probably just get getting tired, and soon after they left for the night, I am once again alone in the house, and Lily's story sounds way too familiar. Yeah. Oh, my God. Every hair. Just standing up. Sob that. Now I'm alone in this house. Great. Time to get some sleep. Upstairs. Fuck that. Oh my god. Go to bed. I'm going. Oh, this whole thing feels like one big creepy pasta. Is there a bathroom? Yeah. I'm, I'm guessing that's the attic then. Right across from the bloody bedroom. Oh god. According to Lily's story, this is where the man was standing, looking straight at her from the doorway before returning to the attic, just like my dreams. Fuck off. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. I'm going to bed. Close the door. The noises there coming from the attic. I don't like, I, I don't like this. I, I'm, I might have to stop. 
I, I really search the attic. I'm not searching the fucking attic. All right, I didn't think this would freak me out as much as it is. Oh, I don't like it. I really don't like. I want to go to bed. Let's go to bed. Sleepy time. Fuck. Okay, come on. Oh my god, I feel sick. <laughs> I don't remember leaving this door open. It's a fancy attic. Oh, oh god. Fancy attic. Look at that. Just not even like a ladder going up. There was a full flight of stairs. How posh. Uh. Uh. Oh Jesus, look at that. Am I done now? Have I searched the attic? This is stupid. There's nothing up here. Good. No, can I... I don't like... Go back to bed. Okay. I really... I'm freaking out. I'm really freaking out. Hmm. Please just walk faster. Just a tiny bit fucking faster. Please, 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 please. Please get in bed. Go to bed. Oh, thank God. Oh, did not like that. Sometimes a strange noise at night keeps you awake. Then you anxiously search for the cause, but you won't find anything and you question it once more. Oh, please don't let me play anymore. Is the man in the attic real? Oh God! Oh God! Fear is subjective, but it's not uncommon to be afraid of the man in the attic or the man in the basement. Perhaps I'll oh, don't say man under your bed, you assholes. Now I'm going to go and check. Oh! Thank you for playing my specific fear, the man in the attic. Oh God! <laughs> You know what really sums this up? When I was little, I remember renting Gremlins on VHS, cause yeah. Um, and I remember watching it, I was really little, watching it in bed, it was really late, way too late. I should be fast asleep. Watching the whole film, didn't scare me. It was perfectly fine, wonderful film, Gizmo, Mugwai, wonderful, right? Then it got to the end. You might remember this, no spoilers, it's just the last line, doesn't ruin the film, is there might be a gremlin under your bed. And I shit you not, I didn't sleep for fucking weeks. <sighs> Seriously, what the fuck? <laughs> the entire film, everything that happened in that film, and it was the last line that got me. There could be a gremlin hiding under your bed. Oh! <laughs> Dicks! Okay, right, that was bloody good. That was bloody clever. Um. I don't think we've played anything like that before. It was very short and the fact that you couldn't run and everything was so slow, it, it, the whole thing definitely played out like a creepypasta. And I'm, I'm a, yeah, I'm a little bit shaky. <laughs> very, very good. Oh my God. Now the funny thing is, I reckon if I played this again, I would still just be as on edge. It's the walking up really slowly, looking at that painting, coming back down, just the fear of something could be behind you and just the fact you can't run. Really, it's a really unusual feeling. I would definitely recommend you play this for yourself. The link will be in the description bar below as always. Please check it out. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, Fluffies. Well, on that note, thanks so much for watching. Until the next video, I'm going to go check under my bed. <laughs> oh, awesome possum. Bye, Fluffies. <laughs> Fucking gremlins. <laughs> Fucking man in the attic. Oh my god. <laughs>